ginoong uh, manhit, uh, gaano ba kahalaga sa atin, it, dito po sa Pilipinas, itong presidential elections sa Estados Unidos at pinag-uusapan natin ang husto? Napaka-importante pag titingnan natin yung issue ng security and defense policy ng ating pamalaan because ang Amerika ay ating key strategic ally at siya rin ang leader ng iba't ibang grupo na nininiwala sa tiyatawag nating rules-based order tulad ng Japan, South Korea, Australia, New Zealand, and even EU countries given the NATO alliance that they have. So very important at that aspect, but also we have to factor in Purina na they're one of our important investment and trading partner. No? Nakakalimutan na nakararami sa atin na ang um, ibang bansa ay simply binibentahan tayo. Ang sa U.S., maganda ang ating trade relationship. Very balanced, pero sa investment, isa siya sa mga namamayani, second to Japan, sa investment that create jobs in the Philippines. In the world order, gaano ka importante kung sino ang mananalo uh, sa pagitan ni Harris at saka ni Trump uh, kahit po sa Estados Unidos kasi hindi po batang sabi nila kung ano man ang nangyayari sa Amerika siguradong apektado ang Pilipinas in the world order how does either of the candidates affect uh, policy I think the fear of some is with the Trump presidency he would be inconsistent and unstable with regards to his relationship with other countries, uh, at nakita naman natin to nung apat na taon niya as Pangulo. Ngunit he had, at the time, good cabinet members who was able to pull him backward. No? So very critical are, if it's Trump, who will be appointed under his government. But with Kamala Harris, we can expect her to be a continuity and an improvement of the Biden administration and even maybe some policies of the former Obama presidency. And he brings that kind of team and policy positions sa kanyang kampanya. He's, she's more an internationalist. And they believe that America, no matter how powerful it is, very important ang mga allies and partners nito, like the Philippines and some Asian countries. Masasabi po ba natin na ang binoboto po dito ngayon ay mga personalidad at hindi na po ang partido na kanilang nire-representa? Dahil ko ang sinasabi po natin, it is a stability or mental state Eh, yun po ang pinag-debatehan uh, at hindi na po kung ano ang ipag pinaglalaban po ng mga uh, Democrats against the Republicans. They try to issue policy positions, Corina, but at the end of the day, any elections, modern elections, will really reflect the personalities of okay. the candidates. Because you would like to support a candidate you trust, a candidate that you are uh, supportive because that you believe this is the future that she or he will offer a future that you agree on. Ano po ang nakataya dito? Kung baga, what is at stake? Is warfare uh, more imminent with a Trump presidency? Yung ganun po ba sinasabi nila kapag si President Trump baka mas gumulo ang Middle East o pagdating din po sa ekonomiya? What is the main, uh, uh, main at stake here in this uh, race? There's that fear, no, na instant unstable ang mga policies ni Trump because very populist ang nature niya. So very important, if ever he wins, I say what I said earlier na cabinet ang dapat natin matayan because he had good cabinets. If he can bring in some good people again to serve him, which might least be possible given yung he's in conflict with a lot of his cap former cabinet officials in the past. But with uh, Vice President Kamala Harris, it's really changed for some. You know, a woman president a generational change and even somebody who is half Asian leading the U.S. will define a new United States. So we just have to wait what kind of government they will form and the mandate that they will receive from the voters, from the U.S. voters. Huling tanong na lamang po, para ho sa Pilipinas at sa Pilipino dito at doon sa Amerika, ano ang magiging mas pabor sa atin, uh, Trump or Harris? If we want consistency, we could say that Harris, uh, it's, it's Harris has been here even in the West Philippine Sea, in the Palawan area when he visited, and the continuity of policies that favored the Philippines under Biden. But of course, with Trump, we always forget that in 2017, President Trump issued a strong statement that, you know, the Philippines is an important strategic location when he visited during the ASEAN summit. 
and his Secretary of State, Secretary Pompeo, who is again helping and advising him on foreign policy, was the first national government official that used the word ironclad. That means we're committed to stand with the, with the Philippines. So I think we have to just wait and see and build on the capacity of our own government to engage with the new government of the United States. Do you have a fearless forecast? That's how we yes, a fearless uh, forecast, sir. Meron po ba? Sobrang higpit very, po ba? Sobrang higpit very, po ba talaga ang laban? It, if, if it's not for a uh, electoral college, there's four-point lead for Harris going into tomorrow's voting or today's voting, not today. But the electoral college, it's a tight race because it's basically tied in seven states. So the key to that is who will get out the vote. And I think Harris mentioned that in one of her clips. It's now based on who among them has the organization to get those who prefer them to actually vote. So that's a big organizational uh, challenge to both candidates. And is it team. anything like Hillary Clinton and uh, Donald Trump from before? We, that's also true because Hillary misunderstood uh, some states. But I think with it could have been a less it should have been the lesson to Vice President Kamala now. So it's really very tight. And in this case, uh, who delivers the votes? in those seven states will win the presidency. Marami salamat po sa inyo. Baka umabot po tayo hanggang bukas sa mga tanong. Ano po. Geopolitical analyst Dindo Manhit, again, thank you.